Hello, my name is David Harris. I'm speaking to you from Vienna, Austria, here at a new monument that was just unveiled by the Austrian government yesterday, November the 9th. It's called the Wall of Names, and on these walls are some 65,000 names of Jewish children, women and men, who were murdered in the Holocaust. Among them, for me, are very familiar names, names like Ettinger, which was the uh, maiden name of my own paternal grandmother, and many others. The monument was opened on the anniversary of Kristallnacht, the, the night of the broken glass, the night of the pogroms that took place in 1938 across Austria and across Germany. And it's a fitting memorial. And we thank the Austrian government for doing this. This Austrian government is also very much focused not just on memory, but on fighting contemporary anti-Semitism, on supporting Israel, and on promoting Jewish life here in Austria. In 2013, I came to Austria as a speaker at the Nazi death camp Mauthausen. I was one of six speakers at the time. The first four who preceded me were the presidents of Austria, Poland, Hungary, and the chairman of the Russian parliament. They all spoke movingly. They shed tears for the dead Jews at Mauthausen, the dead Jews of the Holocaust. But there were things missing from their speeches that I noticed as I prepared my own remarks. And the two most glaring things that were missing from their speeches were any serious focus on contemporary anti-Semitism, the anti-Semitism of today, and also on the centrality of Israel to Jewish life and Jewish meaning and Jewish purpose in our world today. So if one is serious about fighting anti-Semitism today, it's important, it's essential, but it's not enough to remember. Yes, come to these memorials, honor these names, Remember that each name was not just a number, it was an individual with a life, with hopes, with dreams, with ambitions, all snuffed out by the Nazis. But it's not enough. In order to stand up and truly learn the lessons of the Shoah, one has to do, I believe, two things. Fight contemporary anti-Semitism in all its forms, wherever it comes from. Stand in solidarity with living Jews and not just with dead Jews, as I said in 2013 in Mauthausen. And secondly, understand that Israel, the nation state of the Jewish people that was reborn after the Second World War, is central to the effort. There are countries today, there are institutions and individuals today that wish to deny Israel the very right to exist. In fact, in some cases, that openly call for its destruction. For those who want to fight anti-Semitism and to honor the memory of these names on these walls here in Vienna, stand up with living Jews, stand up for Israel's right not just to exist, but to defend itself and to live at peace in the community of nations.